Hello guys and welcome back to a new tutorial. I'm Max from SketchUp TV and today we are not doing a sketch tutorial as usual but we are doing a tutorial in principle that's a UI and UX animation uh, app and what I want to animate is uh, are the, these uh, three screens right here I want to have a little onboarding animation between them, so like changing the background colors and changing um, the text and so on, so sliding uh, through them horizontal. And what I already did is to export all the assets that we need for the animation, and I have them uh, right here. I added the add to x uh, ending to every file because that's um, that is what we need for a principle, so it's uh, displayed correctly. And yeah, let's just get in. I have my uh, the sizes are already set up correctly, and I will just add the first uh, background that we have right here. Okay. And what we will do now is just drag in the first um, oops the first assets for the first screen and then we will uh, work through all the other screens. So here is the text, then we have the button, the button is the same on every screen and we have the indicators around here and the actual indicator of the active screen. So we just position this button correctly like that. So basically, that's the first screen. Um, just save it up for a moment. And now, what we will do now is to drag in our second screen and third screen uh, texts and backgrounds and so on. So I will just start with the texts will be placed right here and now we need the background uh, colors so I just drag them in say that they are at the bottom like that and that's our basic uh, structure for our animation so what we do now is to select all our content, so the text and the icon, um, and we just hit uh, Command and G to group them up. So here we have them, and then we set the uh, horizontal method uh, to page, and we track the area to the screen. So you will see that we can actually just scroll through the content and we, yeah, we just want to scroll through this content, so that's fine. But what we want is that the color is changing from green to red and from red to blue between these uh, different states right here. So we just go to drivers and we uh, go to our first uh, background layer and then we, lo uh, then we look for a nice state, a uh, nice uh, uh, horizontal X position like that. We hit this uh, button and then we just go to opacity. So that's the first driver or keyframe or whatever. And we say that around here we want it to be 100%, uh, we want the opacity p to go from uh, 100 to 0% like that. So you see we are already having a nice animation right here. So that's the first thing we will do. And the second thing is that we want to change our uh, indicator to the second position. So what we will do is that we will just go to maybe this point right here. We will uh, make it perfect at the end. And then we just say we want also the opacity to change from 100 to 
zero percent like that. But we also want to change the x value so that it changes from the actual first position to the second position around here. So we just grab this one and we position it right there. And now we want to get the full opacity again. So we just go to the final uh, position and we change it to 100 again. So yeah, let's just see if it looks nice. So yeah, we have it. It's invisible for a moment and it's popping up again on the second screen. Okay, that's already quite nice. You see the color gradient uh, between the screens. And now we are just going to do the same thing for the third screen. So again, we say that around at this position, uh, we want the onboarding two, so our red background to be, um, to change the opacity. <coughs> So that it's around here at 0%, like that. And again, we also want to change our indicator again, so that the opacity is um, at 0 around here then we want it then do we want that the position is changed again so we say um, let's give this a new position again as we did it before like that oops so at church at first we just hit the X, then I change the yeah, then I change the position to this point right here. Here we want the X to be positioned correctly, like that, and then we want the opacity to go up again. So from here, let's just say it's fully at 100% again at our final state. So let's just look that uh, everything looks correctly. They are nicely popping up, the indicator uh, buttons, and we have a nice little scroll through animation between these screens. Let's make it big for you so you can see it a little bit better. Like that. So we have an area that we can't scroll um, right here to the left, but to the right we just have our three onboarding screens. So that's quite nice. Some really love onboarding, some just hit the skip button. And yeah, maybe we are doing um, the skip button animation that, so the animation that happens when you click skip, that it maybe changes to uh, this screen right here in the next tutorial. So if you like this tutorial and if you want to see more, just uh, subscribe to this channel. And I'm very happy to have you as my subscribers and as my um, viewers. Uh, I really love to show you new things in principle and in sketch of course and yeah if you like this video give me a, a thumb up so I know the, to produce more of this content and yeah just thanks for your time and enjoy your coming upcoming week. Thanks guys, see you.